welcome all dear students uh, today we will take lecture number 50 fluid mechanics euler equation okay uh, see the dynamics starts from the euler equations okay up till now we have seen the kinematics part and today is the 15th lecture of this uh, fluid dynamics okay and fluid dynamics starts from euler's equation okay guys one thing uh, a request from me is please if those guys who those who are not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and also hit the like button so the, okay that which give me a good motivation for me so please i request you please do that okay we will start with uh, today's lecture that is euler's equation see uh, actually first we will see what the fluid fluid dynamics means fluid dynamics see uh, we already seen in the engineering mechanics that is the, the, the engineering, engineering mechanics that is engineering mechanics di uh, divided into two categories that is one is statics and other is dynamics right and dynamics further divided into uh, uh, see engineering mechanics see similar like the fluid mechanics also divided into two categories first the static one part is we covered and this is the dynamic parts which are word in the dynamics what we are doing here we are doing study of study of motion of study of motion of fluid particle fluid particle with with consideration of consideration of consideration of uh, cause of motion right cause of motion which what is the cause of motion that is force right here we are considering the force also whatever the force are acting all things we are considering here uh, okay we'll start now see uh, this the Euler is the great scientist okay who has first uh, performed the experiment on this uh, motion of the fluid particle okay first he considered the element we will see that equations first that is Euler equations of let me go to the next slide Euler's Euler's equation okay we will see this Euler's equation first see along a streamline he derived a, this is this is my streamline right Allah, this is a streamline streamline okay what it has done along the streamline he has considered one particle one not particle it's a he has considered the one element okay and see whenever along this particle there is one normal direction along this that is what i'll call n and one is the tangential direction okay instead of t i will denote it as yes okay because a t for the time we are using so i am not using here t okay now see uh, what forces acting on this particle let me see suppose this is see the weight of this element is acting in downward direction right uh, let me where is it oh what i have erased okay okay yes now it's coming okay see this is what the weight of the particle which is acting in a downward direction that is mg right actually i am taking this class on mobile okay my laptop is a problem it's mal a little bit malfunction that's why i'm taking this okay this and this angle is theta okay and see the along this the element this i will call it as dn and along this it is a ds element okay means and the in the consider what i will do i will consider the width into the paper okay considering the unit width along the paper okay considering considering unit width considering unit width into the paper 
into the paper. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> see, there are in any uh, or any body of the fluid. This on this element, how how many forces are acting? See the forces. There are two types of forces, right? The one is body. This is a body force. Which is weight mg. That is body forces. Body forces. And other is surface forces means like pressure forces, right? Surface forces. Okay. See. <clears throat> See here. I have to make a certain assumptions. The first assumptions is before deriving this Euler's formula, I have to make the assumptions, right? The first assumption. Assumption uh, 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 in viscid fluid is in viscid in viscid in viscid or ideal fluid, right? Ideal ideal fluid. Okay, yes, this is what the, the first assumption which I am making. Okay, here which are the dominant forces? See the last slide we have seen, these are the dominant forces. Okay, the, the pressure, the surface force are pressure force, right? These are the pressure force, pressure force, and this is a gravity force, right? This mg gravity force, and pressure is acting. See. Uh, if uh, the flow is occurring in this direction, right, the pressure is higher here and lesser here. That's why it's a here, it's a negative pressure gradient. That's why the flow is occurring from this to this direction, right? Here, gravity forces. Gravity forces. These are the dominant forces. So, I need to consider these forces. Let me go to the next slide. Okay. Here, the first assumption which what I made. Okay. Uh, and that is the fluid is in viscid and okay that it means it's ideal fluid right okay now see what i will write the equation along the streamline okay see i will write the equations one okay along the along the streamline What equation that is force net force is equal to mass times the acceleration right this is what my equation okay now what the net forces uh, see uh, the net forces are in this direction see let me show this here only let me go to the first slide yes uh, I, what I will do, I will take this much portion, okay, on, along the streamline flow, I will, I will show the extracted view here once more because I need to show the forces over here, right, okay, see, uh, this is, this is the streamline, right, the streamline like this, this is what my the element which is I consider along the streamline, okay, one, this element weight is acting downward, that is the mg, right, the pressure forces, right, here the pressure force P into area, right? This is what the pressure force, and here also pressure force P plus dP by dS, right? This is the element length that is the dS, okay? And this is dN, okay? PS dP by dS, right? Uh, into let me into dS, okay? Into area again here whatever the area now see there are three forces right one two three which are the net forces acting on a body see if i writing the equation along the streamline then this force i will not take this force right i will only consider these two forces okay uh, and then no he this force also come but there is one component here there is a theta right the one component of this force comes okay if i write the f is equal to ma then here see the p area what is the area P into dn right dn into 1 right the area here it is a dn and into the width of the paper that is 1 okay and that minus p 
P plus dou P by dou S into dS, right? And into area, this force, right? What the area is? dN into 1, okay? This is what the force. Now, the Mg, one compound of the Mg I have to take, right? I will consider mass dm more here. So, it is a dm g cos of theta is equal to mass times the acceleration, right? Uh, okay, now I uh, see what are the equation I get that is p, right? p dn minus here again it is a p dn, right? Minus dou p, dou p by dou s into ds, right? Into dn into dm g cos of theta okay see here i can uh, <coughs> in place of dm okay i can write let me let me wait 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 a proportion is deleting right here in place of dm what i can replace here cos theta <laughs> In place of dm, I can write in that is a row. Let me undo this. Okay, yes. Right in place of dn, uh, dm, I write that is rho ds into dn, right into one. It is a volume rho times volume. That is what the dm, right? G cos of theta and equal to the mass, right? You understood up till now? Any doubt? Okay, see. Again here further the acceleration I have to write. I will write it in the next page. Okay, the acceleration. Once more a thing. See, this term and this term will get cancelled, right? The mass I will write. Or rather I will write the acceleration. Here we have to consider mass times. That is V dou V by dou S, right? Plus uh, plus dou V right dou v by dou t right i think you guys clear now everything is clear okay let me move on to the next page yes now see i have written uh, what from this what i will get this if this two term cancel the remaining terms let me write here which are remaining that is minus dou p by dou s into uh, dou p by dou s minus rho g cos of theta right equal to cos of theta equal to rho v actually i am working writing it some mobile that's why it's little bit uh, uncompared for me okay ds plus dv this is what the convective term right uh, d dou v by dou t Clear now? Anything doubt up till now? Okay, I think hope you guys are clear, right? Okay, now, uh, now see one more assumption I will take here. Which that assumption? See, I will make a study. The second assumption, the I will take the flow as steady means dv by dt. This term will goes to zero, right? Then what I can write here? Let's write down that in the assumption page over there. Yes, the second assumption I will take here. That is flow is flow is steady means if I make this assumptions then this term will goes to zero right if the flow is steady then the remaining term is or the terms will remain minus dou p by dou s right minus rho g cos of theta is equal to rho v dou v by dou s Clear? Anything doubt up till now? Okay. See, now uh, I'll now what I'll do? See, I'll replace this cos theta. See, the my see the my element is like this, right? Along the streamline, I have taken the element like this, okay? And see, this is what the length of ds, right? And this is a dn. Okay. See, and this is this angle is here. That is mg. This angle is theta over here, right? Means, see, uh, if I uh, draw a triangle in this, uh, this is what the along the streamline, right? 
and this is what the ds right and this angle is theta right and this angle is uh, this is what the length that is gl mean if i write cos theta over here uh, this is not the angle over here this angle will be i will rub this and this is angle theta okay see from the here this angle is theta so this will be theta right okay yeah yeah and now cos theta is equal to dz by ds okay this thing i will replace here in this cos theta term what i will get minus dp by do s right minus rho g uh, do z by do s is equal to rho v times do v by do s okay now see here the do s do s all this do s term will get cancelled what the remaining is uh, minus d, uh, dp see the minus this term also if i take this then minus then uh, throughout minus and i'll get cancelled i'll write do p right plus rho g dz plus rho v do v okay equal to zero this is what the euler equation along the streamline okay this is euler equation euler's equation along streamline okay along the streamline okay okay now <clears throat> Now what we will see the second that is normal to the streamline means okay we will see the second part that is normal normal to the means along the normal normal direction okay normal to the streamline if you have any doubts please put in a comment okay I will try to solve your doubts but don't keep the doubts uh, with you okay guys okay now the normal forces okay normal to the streamline now the forces will consider the normal to the streamline see the streamline which are considered like this right this is what the element the the element the mass is acting downwards that is mg right and see this direction which is normal that is n direction and the this is yes direction along this yes direction just we have calculated this okay this equation along the streamline we got right here also again uh, normal to the streamline we have to calculate how we will calculate see here uh, again the suppose this is normal right here then there is an angle theta over here also right and uh, see uh, here if the forces are act in this direction okay normal to the surface that is this surface ds right this is what the ds surface okay and the forces acting here the P, P is acting here my according to Taylor series you know the force acting here P plus dou P by dou N here right into dN you clear up till now no doubts right now I will write I will consider the unit width unit width unit width and here I will write the, the equation that is force is equal to mass times the acceleration right the net force which are the net force in this direction along the normal directions that is p ds into 1 right which is vertically upward this is downward that's why i will write take it's minus minus p plus dou p by dou n into dn into area that is ds into 1 okay and the other term that is minus the mass one compound of this cos right uh, it's now sign comes okay uh, rho ds dn into 1 right into 1 sine of theta and this equal to mass times that is mass the acceleration is see here i can write the mass uh, <coughs> the mass i can write rho right ds dn into 1 okay and acceleration in the normal direction you know the acceleration in the normal direction is v square minus v square by r right v square v square by r clear this is all the centripetal accelerations okay in the normal direction that's why fluid taking 
following the curvature path of along the streamline okay and if the fluid is in straight line then this goes to infinity r goes to infinity and this term becomes uh, zero you understood this okay now see uh, <clears throat> now i can the whatever the ds term here okay which is coming here ds let me expand once more here that is pds minus here pds minus do p by do n okay into dn ds minus rho times here uh, ds dn sin of theta is equal to rho times ds dn minus v square by r clear now see the ds ds will get cancelled here okay from the every term the ds will get cancelled are you understood now if i divide the throughout equation by dn okay see if i divide by this dn also i'll here what i'll get that is d do p by do n right minus here a rho of sin theta okay is equal to rho v square by r minus it's minus okay yeah now uh, see from the triangle here uh, let me add, go to the next slide okay see from the along the streamline how the, it looks like see what i can write for sin theta see this is what the theta component here right theta right then what i can write for sin theta here this is dn right and no it is not dn it's a, a dz this is dz right and this is this component is of dn okay which is along one normal to the streamline and this is ds right now for the sin theta what i can write here here see uh, this theta see if this is a theta r right then this angle is see these are the normal right this is pi minus pi by 2 minus theta okay if i write cos pi by 2 minus theta then i can write it as dz by dn right see cos pi by 2 minus theta is sine of theta right this thing you should know it is comes from a trigonometry okay it's dz by uh, dn okay the, uh, what i'll do i'll substitute this sine theta in this equation here see uh, let me Okay, I'll put this here. Right? How many time is there? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. See, see this sine theta in place of sine theta will replace as it is uh, dz by dn. Let me see what I will get if I replace that. That is minus do p by do n. Okay, minus rho d d dz by dn right dz by dn okay that's equal to minus rho v square by r clear i think up till now you don't have any doubts right so if i further write this how can i write uh, see the dn dn term i will get can uh, i'll multiply all the terms by dn then i will get let me change the color of this here Actually, I am taking this. My laptop is get malfunction, little malfunction. That's why I am taking this class on. Open is started. Print select color. Okay, okay. I cannot change the color, right? Okay, yeah. This is where we are now. Yeah, we have multiply equation. Multiply this by dn throughout the equation. Then d phi minus rho dz right equal to minus rho v square by r <laughs> into dn right this thing i will get and this is what the <coughs> okay see <coughs> if i write let, let me write it in the next page okay that is dopey 
डो पी प्लस रो जी डी जेड माइनस रो वी स्क्वेर बाय आर राइट इन टू डी एन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज वॉट द स्ट्रीम लाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द फोर्स अलॉन्ग द नॉर्मल डायरेक्शन ओके यू अंडरस्टूड दिस अप टिल नाउ आई थिंक नो एन आउट्स ओके सी सी हियर here there are many cases uh, we will have see this is what the uh, the along along the normal direction right the forces balance along along the normal direction normal direction okay see now from this i will uh, see there are see the streamlines first the case one please take the case one case number one that is the stream uh, uh, circular streamline okay circular circular streamline and it is a horizontal plane okay hori horizontal plane see streamline is circular and its horizontal means in this case this dz term will goes to zero directly right so suppose this is a streamline okay i am not able to make a circle but this is treat it as a circle okay and this is my element which is constraining okay this is what the radial direction right <sighs> okay and see here one is a, a tangential direction right and the other is normal direction and for this tangent direction we call it as s direction right and this is in the n direction right see if, if i write this equation along this uh, <coughs> normal direction right see what i will get that is do p by do n right do p by do n minus see uh, the, as this is a horizontal plane we are considering so this dz term goes to zero right and minus rho v square by r right which is equal to zero you understood this i think you have no any doubts okay now <clears throat> now this is what okay in a circular case means in circular case we are getting do p by do n right is equal to rho v square by r right see means see this do p by do n means along the n direction we are getting this value is positive or this indicates <coughs> positive means if you go along this n direction right the pressure will increases increasing right that thing is indicating okay now we'll see for the straight line if the case number 2 case number 2 <coughs> straight line and vertical plane straight streamline straight streamline and the vertical vertical plane <coughs> see now my streamlines are like this see. this is a, the vertical plane okay streamlines are straight line now then see here in this case if i write the equation equation that is do p by do n right along the normal direction i am writing plus rho uh, plus rho g do z right it's a do z by do n right minus rho v square by r equal to 0 okay now see what the do p by do n i will get <coughs> see this term if i am writing its vertical the plane then this term will goes to zero right because the r is infinity in this case okay you understood this okay minus do p by do n equal to minus rho g do z by do n here do n and do n will get cancelled you will get the final you will get that is do p 
is equal to that is pressure that is minus rho g dz right i think we have seen this equation in case of the hydrostatic forces okay means it's saying that even though the fluid is in motion right this pressure see if i integrate this then what i will get the p2 minus p1 right the pressure difference is equal to rho g z this i will get this is what the hydrostatic pressure means whenever the fluid is in motion there also the hydrostatic force are acting over there that thing you have you should keep in mind the only in the static case the fluids are not acting okay in the hydrostatic let me write the note here not whenever 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 fluid is in motion fluid is in motion Uh, there are then also then also hydrostatic force hydrostatic force forces are acting forces are acting okay i think you guys understood up till now no any doubts okay what we will do uh, this is the first class which i have taken on my mobile okay let me see how it will upload everything i need to check okay once the setup is over then we'll continue this lecture okay we'll try to finish uh, within a week time this fluid dynamics complete course in this course if you have any doubt please put in the comments okay and i will reply to your comments and uh, <clears throat> and the last i request you guys please don't forget to subscribe please like the video and share and subscribe with your friends share with your friends also okay guys this will stop for the today's class and thank you